everybody welcome back to our channel today I was going to show you guys how I find a design on Etsy download it to my computer and put it into in brilliance to create a design so here I'm looking up a bumblebee design this is an applique design on Etsy so these are the ones that came up there are quite a few designs to choose from So this one caught my attention the most. Here they're showing you different ways you can use the design. I'm going to add it to my cart. I'm going to go in and buy it. Okay, so I've purchased the design. I'm going to go over up to my picture, click Purchases and Reviews. Here it's going to show all of the things I have ordered in order. So here's my Bumblebee design. I'm going to click Download File. This will bring up um, a message from the shop sometimes and then You'll click here, download. So over here in the corner, you see it's downloading the design to my computer. Once that is finished, I'm going to click on that and it'll open up a window. Here shows me the design. I want to extract the design because the file is zipped. You want to unzip it by clicking extract. This unzips the design. I'm going to minimize all my stuff there. Get rid of the boxes I don't need. And then I'm going to click and drag that to my desktop. So now I have that design saved on my desktop and easy to access. Okay, here I'm opening up in Brilliance. I'm going to go find the design we just put on the desktop. So I'm going to hit Merge Design. Make sure I'm under my desktop. Find the file. And then I'm going to choose the size of the design that I want to use. This particular design came with several different sizes, so I'm just looking through all the sizes to find which one I want. So I'm going to double click on it and it'll pull it up into In Brilliance. Here I'm going to set my hoop size so I have an accurate display of the size I need. So my intention for this design was to turn it into a birthday shirt. So here I'm adding the number. So I'm just going to my fonts and picking out the number font that I want to use. This one is one of my favorite fonts. I use it all the time. Here I'm just arranging both the number and the bumblebee, going back and forth and trying different spacings, different um, angles, just so I can figure out which way I like the best. 
And I'm also adjusting the sizes of each design so that I fill in that area of the hoop. So I didn't like that size of the bumblebee, it was too small. I don't like to resize the designs too much, so I just went in and looked for a bigger size that was in the file and brought that into the design again. Again, I'm just adjusting the sizing and positioning each piece to where it looks good. Okay, here is where you go to label your applique design. So you're going to click on each color step, right click on it, and assign it either applique position or applique material, whichever part that is. So we're going to do the same thing for the bumblebee for each applique step. By doing this, you're letting in brilliance know that these are important steps. These are applique steps, and you don't want to delete the stitches underneath these steps. We want these stitches to stitch out completely and not be deleted. If you don't know, in Brilliance auto deletes overlapping stitches, and if you don't label something as um, applique, it doesn't know that those steps are, are important. So here I'm changing the color, so I double clicked on the step that I want and I just typed in the color that I want and it changed that number satin stitching to black. I do this more as a visual than um, a necessity. You can leave the colors however you want in in brilliance. Um, the only thing I recommend is you do not put two steps that are right next to each other the same color because in Brilliance will merge both of those steps together and if you need them to be separate, say for applique, then it won't put a stop in between the steps. It will merge the steps together as one continuous step. So if you have an applique design, make sure each applique step is a different color. So again here I'm just adjusting the designs trying to find the best placement for them. Now I'm going to add a name so I will go back to my text. Just typed in Jocelyn's name and went through all of the fonts that I have uploaded and chose the one I like the best and added it in. And this particular font is called Anonymous, and it is from the Itch to Stitch. Sorry, the oven's going off. And um, here I'm just adjusting each letter so that they fit together nicely. In the end, I decided to choose a different font. I didn't like the way this font looked with the bumblebee. And so I deleted it and went for a different font.
And this is me not making up my mind which font I want to use. So I went through several different fonts till I finally found the one I wanted to use. Okay, I finally decided on a font. So I'm going to use this spacing tool here to bring my letters closer together so everything looks nice. And then I'm going to go in to end of it to each individual letter and move them so the spacing looks nice and neat. You can do this to any font you upload into in Brilliance. So here if you click the bottom green dot, it allows you to move that letter and every letter that's beyond it. So that is a nice tool once you've organized all your letters and line them all up. So here I'm just adjusting all the components of the design. I do like to stretch out the font a little bit so that it goes from side to side the design length. I'm going to change the color of the font to pink so that it ties in with the bumblebee. So here I'm going to select both the letter and the bumblebee and I'm going to group them together. That makes them one piece and doesn't allow them to move separately. So now I'm going to select all the components of the design, click this align button, click center and hit apply. This aligns everything up in the center of each other. So the B and the number three are now lined up center with the name. And here I'm just checking the size to make sure it will fit in my 8x9 Mighty Hoop. And it looks like it will. Just adjusting it a little bit to my liking. I'm going to go up here to File, and I'm going to Save Working File As. I'm going to name it whatever I want, put it in the folder that I organize all of my working files in. Click Save. This is why I save a working file. So I can go into my saved designs working file folder, pick out the design, open it up into in Brilliance, and now every component is still separate and editable. So I can go in and change the name, change the number to whatever personalization was chosen on the order, once I have that set to what they ordered, all I have to do is save it to my jump drive or to my computer, however you do it, as a, a stitch out file, and it's good to go. And then the next time somebody orders it, all I have to do is go back in, change the personalization, and save it. And then you're good to go again. You don't have to remember what font you used for any components. It's already saved there for you. And that's it. So here I'm showing you, you just save it as a stitch file after you've edited it to your liking or to the personalization you need. Put it in whichever file folder, whatever you save your stitch files to. 
And another cool thing about Embrilliance is they give you every single um, format for every single embroidery machine. You just pick the one that's best for you, save it, and you're set. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful. For further content, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!